We are going to compare the fractions 3 fourths and 3 sixths using rectangular area models. So first we're going to draw 3 fourths. I'm going to draw the rectangle as a whole. And here we can see our two fractions have the same numerator but different denominators. So how we partition or split up the whole is going to look different. So we have one whole, and I'm actually going to draw my second whole to make sure I have the same size whole. Okay, so the first fraction is 3 fourths, so I'm going to partition the whole into four equal parts. The second whole has six, so I'm going to partition the second whole into six equal parts. the first whole, 3 fourths, out, out of the four equal parts, 3 is our numerator, so we're going to shade in 3 of those four equal parts. 1 fourth, 2 fourths shaded in, and 3 fourths shaded in. For our second model, we have 3 six. so out of the six equal parts, 3 will be shaded in. 1 six. 2, 6, 3, 6. So let's look at this. 3 fourths compared to 3 six, which fraction has a greater value or takes up more space of that whole? Well, looking at our models, which are the same size whole, we can see that 3 fourths is a greater fraction or greater value than 3 six. Even though the denominator, 4, is less than 6, the size of those fourths is greater than the size of those 6. So now we can write our comparison statement. We know that 3 fourths is the greater fraction. So we're going to start with 3 fourths. That was our first fraction. And this here goes 3 six. So again, which symbol, which symbol, comparison symbol, are we going to place between our two fractions? The greater than symbol, less than symbol, or equal to symbol? So we know 3 fourths is greater, so I circled that one. So I know my symbol is going to face or be open to the greater fraction or the greater value. So let's read our comparison statement now. 3 fourths is greater than 3 sixths. 